today we will talk about section 1.2 and 1.3 uh, section 1.2 uh, uh, yani for reading yani if you want to read it uh, from the book it would be fine if you want to know about more about the methods collection methods how to collect data here i will mention just the the name of each method but to go uh, deeply uh, uh, to know more about each method just please read the section anyway we will not ask any question in the exam about section 1.2 for section 1.2 is about procedures for collecting data uh, to collect data we usually use uh, experiments telephone surveys uh, written questionnaire and online surveys direct observation and personal interviews all of these are types of collection collecting data okay collecting data methods what is important uh, for me is the word experiment uh, the word experiment will come again and again uh, especially in chapter four so what is the definition when we say experiment what do we mean in fact it is a process that produces a single outcome single outcome so for example uh, i can do an experiment uh, so select or find the proportion of uh, students who smoke in the university if i will go to each student and ask him whether he smokes or not experiment and no go to each student and ask him with single outcome I go on yes or no I can end a single outcome yes I smoke no I don't smoke مثلا. or uh, if you toss a die and notice the upper face the number on the upper face the number on the upper face usually one two three four five or six so you will get the experiment in you toss a die you get one number, single outcome. Yeah, one, year two, up to six. Whose result, yeah, the result of this experiment cannot be predicted with certainty. Yeah, and you are not certain about the result. Yeah, and when you go and ask the student whether he smokes or not, you don't know the answer, okay? When you toss the die, you don't know what number would you get <clears throat> on the upper face. Is it one, two, three, five, four, uh, four, five, or six? But this is the definition of, this is what we mean by experiment. Uh, uh, experimental design is a plan for performing an experiment. So it's not the experiment itself. It's a plan you put to perform this experiment. This is what we mean by experimental design. Uh, this is all what I need from section 1.2. Now, section 1.3 is about populations, samples, and sampling techniques. So let us first differentiate between populations and samples. This is the definition of the population. The set of all objects or all individuals of interest. So set of all objects or in the, all individuals of interest. Yani, مثلا, you want to uh, find the proportion of students who smoke. What, what kind of students are you talking about? PSU students? So the population would be all PSU students. Uh, students at Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, all students. So your population would be all students at Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Students in the world, your population would be all students in the world. It depends on an interest. What is your interest? This the population would be uh, all individuals of interest. This is the population. Everything, okay? Population. Now, uh, a, a subset of the population, subset, is a sample. If you take subset, subset, any part. This is metal and subset of the population. This is called sample. So we have population, everything of interest, and sample, 
taken from this population. This is the difference between population and sample. Now, an important also uh, definition or difference between parameters and statistics. What is the difference between parameters and statistics? These two words are very important in the course. So descriptive numerical measures, like what, such as what, average or proportion. The most two important numerical measures in this course are average and proportion. The average or proportion, when you compute them from the population, you call them parameters. Yani, if you find the average age of all students at PSU, the population, then the average in this case, we call it parameter. While if you take the corresponding measure, yani the same measure, مثلا the average or the proportion, for a sample, for you will call it in this case a statistic. Yani if you take the average age, of sample of students at PSU sample, not the population, then the average in this case is a statistic. So the average itself could be parameter when you take it from the population, and it could be a statistic if you take it from the sample. Also the proportion, proportion of all, مثلا, non-Saudi students at PSU. At PSU the population, we will call it parameter. But if you find the proportion of non-Saudi students in the class, the class مثلا sample, فحيكون the proportion in this case is a statistic. Then the numerical measure itself could be parameter if you take it from the population and it could be a statistic if you take it from the sample. Now the next point, sampling techniques. What are the different sampling techniques. We will mention only the two main parts of sampling techniques. There are statistical sampling techniques and non-statistical sampling techniques. Statistical sampling techniques are sampling methods that use selection techniques based on chance selection. Yani in fact, every every element in the population should have the same probability to be chosen. Yani when you choose a sample using a statistical sampling techniques, then مثلا, when you choose a sample from PSU, students at PSU, then every student, every student has the same chance to be selected, to be in the sample. هنا, this sampling technique هيكون statistical sampling technique. لكن if the sampling technique is non-statistical معناها لا uh, not every student has the chance لا ممكن يكون convenience على حسب ال convenience your convenience or your judgment okay or other non-statistical processes for your convenience أنا I am not able to reach all the students at PSU if I will take a convenience sample in this case it is not a statistical technique, non-statistical technique. So here, not طبعا there is a nice example about non-statistical sampling. اللي هو sun citrus or sun citrus هذا orange. But it's a nice example. You can read it. Show why sometimes it is the only feasible way to sample. يعني the convenience may يكون في غيره يعني it is it is the only feasible way to sample. Sometimes it's difficult to to talk about statistical sampling techniques. For you use the non-statistical sampling techniques. لكن usually if you can choose a statistical sampling technique, we will use statistical sampling techniques. Inshallah, next time we will talk about the different uh, the convenience. خلاص. This is the convenience sampling, اللي هي sampling technique that selects the items from the population based on accessibility and ease of selection. Not everyone has the same 
chance to be selected, like in based on accessibility and ease of selection. So next time we'll talk about statistical sampling. There are four different methods of statistical sampling. We will talk about them uh, in the next lecture. Thank you very uh, much. If you have any question, please.